Hey there guys, it's Hulkatrain here, and we have a brand new update today, and Nelson has added quite a bit of stuff here in this new update. Uh, for example, civilian armor, we have a new spec ops outfit, a make makeshift armor scythe, chart, GPS, diving gear, a duffel bag, and we even have a new burst fire mode, which is enabled on the eagle fire, and we have added bullet trails now, so when you fire a gun that doesn't have a muzzle brake on it, It'll leave a trail. Let's see if we can demonstrate that right now. Alright, it won't show right now, but if you're on a server, a multiplayer server, now, because of this update, if you fire your gun, people can actually see where you're firing from. For example, if you don't have a muzzle brake on, or if you're in a location where that is suppressed. I'm not sure how it works with the silencer. I'll have to test that out uh, in the future, but let's get on with it and see what else we have here. Now, we have a Spec Ops outfit, which is the one I have on now. As you can see, swap out there. So I'm wearing the Spec, out the spec outfit right here, and it's pretty much a light gray or dark. It's mid, mid dark gray, and you get a... Uh, spec outfit top you get a knapsack or should i say a backpack or they call it a rucksack on this one and you get pants and even a spec ops vest which sort of operates uh like a duffel bag which has been added it has a bit more space though and uh, quite a lot of stuff has been added uh we have the makeshift armor right here let me just put that on and uh put my weapon away so you can see that uh, there we go so it has a bit like patches on it like it's been patched up so civilian armor makes a return from the previous unturn if you remember 2.5 the older model or the older version where we had civilian ammo that was taken out after 3. Point, or should I say 3.0 and now it's back looks pretty great I always loved this back in the day and uh, you also got a you got a duffel bag which is smaller than the Alice pack but pretty noticeable. It just has, uh, I'm not sure if this is bigger than the uh, normal day pack. I'll have to check that out. Uh, but yeah, so spec outfit. Now let's try the scuba gear because this is very interesting. Uh, yeah, because apparently you can now go on the water with this. Uh, where's my scuba pants? Oh man, I need my scuba pants. Oh, here it is. Let me just put this on. Oh, and they, let me just show you guys something right here, since I'm already going to go into the water. Alright, head in here. You can now use your weapons underwater. How great is that? So, for example, if someone follows you, follows you into the water, or if you go into the water and someone's shooting at you, you can actually defend yourself from in the water, as you can see here. And you can dive back under the water real quick. Which is pretty cool, but they can they can come in and shoot you as well, so be careful with that. But let's try the diving tank. As you can see, I don't have an oxygen bar because I have the diving suit on. I'm not sure if the oxygen runs out, but I don't see a bar anywhere about the oxygen, so I'm not sure. But then again, wait a minute, there's my bar right there. It takes a bit longer, apparently. That shouldn't be the case because I have my oxygen bar on. I have my tank on. Alright, so let's see. Alright, so it's it's going down pretty slowly. So apparently that's what it does. It takes a longer time to go down than normal. And that's pretty awesome. So you can stay on the water longer. For example, those submarines that people like to explore. You can use this now to explore the waters a bit longer. And a few stuff that has been improved uh, oh there's a node that is now added to Montague and uh, there's added map information at the selected screen there's improved stars and blending from the midnight to dawn so the stars look a bit better uh, you have improved attachments to show quality now so you can actually see the quality of attachments which is pretty cool uh, and they, he also tweaked the Washington spacecraft crash and a whole bunch of stuff has been improved and it's just a short update pretty awesome stuff and you guys should definitely check it out uh, especially the scuba the scuba gear I think a lot of people are gonna just love that especially for your role play servers and your spec 
his spec ops outfits as well that's pretty awesome of course it doesn't blend in with the environment but that's for special missions for example if you're using your helicopter to do a role play and some other stuff like that and let me just show the scythe right here because there's some other stuff as well let me get out of the water I think you can use this to cut trees so you can use this as a secondary weapon I think as a primary as well but it fits into your secondary come on get out of the water buddy let's go hit this tree so I think you can probably chop a tree down with this All right not gonna spend too much time on that uh, the GPS I'm trying to equip this but it's not as you can see it's not equipping same thing for the chart they're not equipping I'm not sure what they're for maybe that needs to be sorted out a bit and you can see am I still on my knees oh alright so so that's it for this update and hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, don't forget to leave a like and stick around for other awesome videos uh, I got a lot of big plans for this channel so hopefully you guys subscribe and who knows might be a giveaway sometime in the future and hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching and Hulk Chan is out